Hi everybody, it's two o'clock on a Tuesday and today I'm here to show you how to make two tone stenciling. This, I saw this on Gina K and I just fell in love with it. So I'll show you how to do it. Just gonna cut this paper down. I actually just need half of this. Okay, <clears throat> so as you can see, I made use of both. Now when Gina K did it, she used the lighter one on the back and then this uh, darker one on the top. So it looks really cool. So then I took this one that I cut out and I made this cord. So I used everything that I'm gonna be making today. All right. <clears throat> so I'm taking on my sticky grid, uh, sticky mat, I'm taking my four and a quarter by five and a half inch paper and I'm going to put on stencil one. So I'm just gonna put that on there like that and then it'll stick to my mat all right I'm using pink fresh colors today and there's four of them so the two darker ones I'm going to use on one stencil and then the two lighter ones I'll use on the other stencil and I'm doing it in both so I'm doing it in the green and the purples so let's do the lighter one first so that is lavender and soft lilac. So this is stencil number one. And I've just got my little brushes just for the simple fact it's easier to tote. So I will color these in. Very pretty color. I think Pink Fresher came out with some more colors too. They're coming, but they're not released yet. They're coming, but they're not out. So Cindy's had Christmas over there, like literally Christmas. She got huge order in and it's Christmas stuff. And then basic stuff too, but so she's quite excited. She told me that she's spending her entire daily pay on. It's probably really all of August pay. <laughs> that much, eh? Uh, I think so. We'll see. You guys know how that happens. Yeah. It happens to her quite often, actually. All right. There's stencil one. I should mention I only work one day a week. It's not, you know. <laughs> You work at home, so depending. Yes. All right, now I'm going to use the darker one. So now this is lavender. So we'll lavender this up. Did everybody have a good long weekend? I did. Played tons of cards. That's one of the things I love about going to the lake. If I want to play cards at 10 o'clock in the morning, we play cards. Jerry is, is not a card player, but Kevin grew up playing cards. So we're always playing cards and I love it. And of course we went in swimming. I shouldn't say swimming, I float on my floating mat. But it was beautiful, the weather, it was hot, it was lovely. 
no kids. It's just Terry's, Kevin, and I. There we go. All right, now I'm going to do some leaves on stencil three. So now there's little um, corners there that you line up. There we go. So now I'm going to get my green. And my two light greens are mint and meadow. So let's go with the mint first. <laughs> nice combo. So I don't know if you watched the video prior to this one but I cleaned out my craft cupboard because I have no more room for stamps that I use. So I'm selling them off at a great price. And so they're all in the store here. This is number four. And they range from $5 to $30 and some of them have stamp stencil and dies some of them are just stamps um, some of them I said lawn fawn and mama elephant but we also have some pink fresh that I just priced so you should come down and take a look Honey Bee. Honey Bee. Colorado Craft. Look how pretty that is. I love it. All right, and now this one, I'm going to do the darker green. And that is Meadow. Now, I'm just using the same brush here. I'm just wiping it off and I'll add this so this is the lighter value one okay and I also found a stencil that's similar and it's on sale I was going to keep it I said to Cindy I can't believe how hard it is to get rid of stuff I'm very attached to some things. So I ended up when I was pricing, I was saying, oh, no, I can't I can't get rid of that. And I'd save it. So Cindy says, welcome to my world. Look at how glorious that is. OK, so that's the lighter value. Now we're going to do the darker value. So I'm going to put this one down. And I'm going to start with the first one again. Now this one. This one I'm using Candy Violet and Regal Kiss. Okay, so now just wipe these off. So this is Candy Violet. It's tapping some of the stuff off on my stencil here. So anyways, back to the stamps. Yeah, so I um, pulled some and I said in the beginning that I wanted to keep, but then I've added to it. I think no. I'm attached. There's one. Here's number two. So number two is going to be Regal 
kiss. Now this is a quite a bit darker. Did many of you craft on the weekend? I know Cindy knitted. I did a little bit of crafting, but I made a couple of cards as soon as I came home. Because I did not craft for this week. All right. So I made this one last night when I came home from the lake. First thing I did. There we go. Now I'm going to take, what's this one? That was two. This one is three, so we'll put some leaves on here. Anyways, back to Cindy, she got three big boxes full of stuff. So now the greens, this one is called Emerald City. Beautiful, beautiful green. You can see the color values are quite a bit darker. I'm not worried that some goes on darker than others, just gives it a nice Shading. Okay, take that one off. And then we're going to put this one on. Stencil four. And I'm going to go back to my Regal Kiss and just put a darker value in here. Oh, that was green. What am I doing? Whoops. I didn't want that. That'll be a little bit different. There we go. And then that's this one. And then the dark green. I will do these. Mm -hmm. All right, so now I am finished my stenciling and now I'll show you what we're going to do. Okay. Get my lids back on. Yeah, I'm going to I have um, Brooklyn's having a sleepover with a friend at my house tonight. So I'm going to get them to make birthday cards for Cards for Charity. They're in need of birthday cards, and I'm going to get them to make bake some. All right. Now, so here is here are my two, the darker value and the lighter value. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is... Yes, I just wipe it on a microfiber cloth. It works fine. I'm going to put these together like this, and I'm going to take my stitched rectangle, and I'm going to place it on here. Okay. 
So I'm going to put those together, make sure they're the same. And I'll put it right there. Okay. I'll look straight. Put it through my big shot. I'm just going to pop that out. Sometimes it doesn't cut that. I'll just put it on an angle and see if it'll cut it. Or this part here but I can fix that not a problem all right let's take those apart there we go. all right so this is a three and three quarters by four. All right, so I've made some little mats here. All right, I'm just going to fix that. And this is just a sixteenth or eighth of sixteenth of an inch or eighth of an inch bigger. And I'm gonna push that in there. So there's the darker value, and then this is the lighter value. And again, this is just, I believe, an eighth of an inch bigger than the two and three quarters by four. All right. Now I have some two top folding cards. <clears throat> So I'm going to take this one. Now the, these are four and a quarter by five and a half. So they fill the whole card. All right. So I'm going to put that on the front. Yes, camera friend also likes crafting, so I'll set up a little area for them and they can craft away. Okay, so there's that one. And so that's the darker value. Now this is the lighter value. So I'm off tomorrow and I'm off on Thursday. I have a lot of things to get made for upcoming crops. So that's what I'm going to be doing. 
So Karen is back. So she's here tomorrow. And then Linda and Paulette are here on Thursday. All right. So now this is the original in here. Like that. So I'm switching them. Okay, so there's the originals. And then I'm just going to switch them. So now we have the lighter value here and the darker value here. Does not look pretty? Yes, you could use distress inks for sure. Alrighty, I'm just going to put some fun, or not fun foam, but foam strips on the back here just to raise it up a little bit. You could um, cut several layers of the black and glue them to your, together to get the height, but I'm just going to do this for today. And then that's just going to fit right in there. You kind of match up the flowers, the leaves. And there we go. Beautiful. Okay, and then I'll do this one. Very quick cards. It's a beautiful stencil. These, I've got four cards now for the Cards for Charity. They require quite a few cards by the end of August. All right, let's match this one up. This is quite a quick technique. There we go. And then I have my happy birthday here. So I just heat embossed it. And I'm just going to put it on. All right, and we'll do this one. And there we go. There's our cards called two-tone stenciling. Not hard at all. You could do this with paper. Um, you just wouldn't get the, the two-tone um, aspect of it. But I think I really like the, the two-tone part of it. I think it looks beautiful. Okay, so I'm not here on tomorrow. Um, I'll try and do something on Thursday. I did make this card. I thought it's called a stepping card. I thought it was kind of cute. And I love this paper. And then it opens up like this and like this. And then I'll try and make another card for Friday. All right. So this will be Thursday. It's called a step card. All righty. I have lots to show here. Okay, Christmas, Christmas. Christmas floral dye and stencil set. Well, that's beautiful. I wonder if they show the um, picture of it on the back here. There it is. 
That's lovely. I guess I'll be starting Christmas soon. That's lovely. And then this is a really nice Merry Christmas. It's got the shadow on the back. It's beautiful. Okay, so that's Spellbinders. Okay, now let me get all this stuff here. Christmas has come to scrapbookers. And this is 49th and Market. 49. Sorry, 49. Because they're at 49 and Market Street. No, they just made it up. Hmm? They just made it up. Oh, I thought it was 49 and Market. Okay, so this is washi tape. Three rolls. Beautiful. Let's have a look. Oh, there's wide. It's gorgeous. Look at that. Beautiful. All right. I don't want to get ink on here. This is washi tape stickers. And they just peel off in their little stickers. Wouldn't they be cute to, to seal an envelope or something, eh? Very cute. All right. And this is the Big Picture Album Kit. It includes your chipboard album cover, 12 inside pages with spine hinge, eight double-sided sheets of eight by eight cardstock, uh, laser cut elements, ephemera pieces, washi tape, and directions. So you can make a beautiful album. And as we know, 49 and Market have gorgeous albums. We sell uh, lots of them. So here are the pages. They're beautiful. Can you see them? Gorgeous. I'm going to do an unboxing and stuff of that at home and put it up. Pardon? I'm going to do an unboxing and go through that. At okay. And put it up. So Cindy's going to do an unboxing of it. All right. We have the film strip frames. Oh, my goodness. Look at these. Acetate foliage. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love it. Gorgeous. And these are rub-ons. Gorgeous. And these are laser cuts. Oh, they're beautiful. It's old time Christmas. Here's some more. These are all the poinsettias and whatnot. You can make some glorious cards. Glorious pages. This looks like lace. It's beautiful. 27 lacy trims and corners. And then here is the 12 by 12 collection. The papers are stunning. Uh, we also have open stock. Hmm? We also have open stock. Oh, and you also have open stock of the paper. Beautiful. And a ton more embellishments that I haven't unpacked. Okay, a ton more embellishments that she hasn't unpacked. Oh, the pages you could make. These are beautiful. Wouldn't these make gorgeous cards? These transfers? These are just stunning. And here's old St. Nick. And then they have the Christmas Ultimate Page Kit, which is absolutely gorgeous. You can see that, that there. Cindy will be making one up. Yes, I will. And it'll be um, hanging in our store. All right, that's it. All right. So I hope you try this. 
And I did have a stencil. I was going to keep it, but I'm not now. Oh, maybe I put it back. No, I didn't. Oh, maybe I'll keep it. <laughs> Do I need it? Blushing floral. Look at that. It's beautiful. It's a gorgeous. So this would be like $15 if anybody wants it. You can make a gorgeous cards like I just made with it. It's beautiful. So I'll get rid of it. So pretty. Okay, so this one is 15 if anybody wants it. It's called Blushing Floral. Quickly I said it, and now it's gone. All right, so tomorrow or Thursday, um, I'll be doing this card, which is called a step card using that gorgeous paper. All right, thanks for joining me. Whoops, wrong one. Have a great day, and I'll see you on Thursday. Bye-bye.